Difficult to find the school that I was comfortable sending my son to, and I'm a teacher, so I took a year off of teaching to educate my own child. And so far, it's been amazing. I joined a few groups on Facebook, one being African American Homeschoolers in Philadelphia, and found out about this event today. A group of moms, uh, Michelle, organized it, came to the museum of math in New York. Oh, uh, math Art Museum? Nice. The three main rules of tessellation. Um, and shapes and how we piece things together. Um, really giving you a more in-depth look at different maps that the children will learn or that we're learning. So whether it's basic math, fractions, algebra, um, even calculus. Um, so we saw a lot of that here. Um, we saw a lot of um, displays and exhibits that was actually defying what we really do. Like we rode on a bicycle that had square wheels. How can a bicycle with square wheels roll around? So it was the type of surface that it had that allowed that. So you know it really sort of kind of made you think twice about what you think you know about it. are intimidated and they think that you have to have you know all of these degrees and experience but no one knows your child better than you so you know what things that they need and there is a huge network of people that can help you so many free classes um, even the library system within Philadelphia and the surrounding counties have so many free classes and programs so if there are areas that you're not as comfortable teaching there are other ways that you can supplement and do it I am wholeheartedly for started really early reading at three years old and I did not teach him and um, and so he taught himself so I was like okay well we're, we're already doing this um, <laughs> that was long before there was a kindergarten so um, and then at four years old too he helped a friend with his kindergarten homework so and he had never seen homework so I was just like okay you're you're good Okay. And uh, yeah, so I would I would say more than four years because he's been already already doing it. And you're a product of homeschool, correct? Yes, I've also I've been through public school, private school, and homeschool. And homeschool was the last part. So uh, so yeah, uh, <laughs> we did that too. And um, would you recommend homeschooling to families? Yes. Um, I, a lot of people might first think that, oh, I can't afford homeschooling, or um, it's just so much time. But um, it, yeah, I, I recommend it for a lot of families because of the flexibility, the family time, the socialization that actually does happen um, with other homeschool families, and um, getting to go places when you need to go places. Everyone's family is different. So, um, you know, having your own schedule, like your own your boss, and um, having your kids uh, learn and take education into their own hands, too. Um, and we're at the Mo Math Museum today. How is this visit in, like, for homeschooling? What does this do to um, enhance your curriculum or what you're doing with your, with your babies? Well, I, I really... Part of my homeschooling experience was um, also traveling with my parents and seeing other places and visiting other cities and museums and um, life is about experiences and I also you know, prescribe to the fun schooling, life schooling kind of um, style of learning and so with uh, the MoMath Museum it was sounded like a really great opportunity to um, merge both life mathematics and fun, you know, fun mathematics. So um, I like, you know, things to be hands-on and to, for my kids to, you know, check things out for themselves. Okay. Um, I highly recommend homeschooling to any mother who wants to take more control of her child's academic journey. I also highly recommend it to those who just want a little more freedom and with their child's education. Yeah. New experience. So this is our first year homeschooling. I have a nine-year-old, so maybe ten-year-old. Just recently grew back to America after living with Ziegler. How long have you been homeschooling? 
Um, let's see. I I would say since the beginning, <laughs> um, uh, since my you know since I had my first kid, um, he's now eight, and uh, you know been doing education at home. Awesome experience being able to you know nurture my own child and give him everything that I think he's been missing and. You know, just to be able to be home with him and give him all the love and care that he needs. Is also? Yes, I am. And how long have you been homeschooling? Ten years. So my boys have been enrolled in cyber school. Um, and how's that experience? It's the only thing that my youngest son knows, and I enjoy the experience. And would you recommend it to anyone? I highly recommend it to anyone. <laughs> That's my. And are you part of a homeschool network? Yes. So, so, so I actually um, have started Kumba Homeschool Co-op. So we meet, I actually just put together different trips and classes for our students that are homeschoolers, but I do belong to different homeschool online co-ops. So um, a lot of the parents that come here today, they're from the African, African American Homeschoolers of Philadelphia. Stop it. African American Homeschoolers of Philadelphia. Uh, we also had someone join us from New York City's homeschoolers, and I think that's about it. I think most of us are from Philly. So. And how can somebody contact you if they wanted to uh, get in touch with you and get involved? You can reach me at 484. That's my granddaughter, my son. <laughs> 484 3017. And the Facebook. My Facebook, you can find me at Michelle Schofield, so that's Michelle with two L's, Schofield, S-C-H-O-F-I-E-L-D. Different, different, different issues and concerns. I'm finding I'm so, many, so many different mentalities mentality today. It seems hard. It seems challenging. It seems challenging. I don't say hard because the only thing hard is the concrete that we walk on. Everything else is a challenge. Is a challenge. Um, um, so, 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 I'm ready. I'm this ready challenge. for this challenge, and I was built, and I was for, built this. for this. I think that, I think we, that all we all have a purpose in life, in life. and mine is to take, take on a task that, that most that most of back away back from, away from. from. Impossible. that impossible. So people say it's impossible. impossible. I see possibilities. I don't see anything, I don't see anything as impossible. being impossible. Mentality, mentality, there are different, there are different mentalities, mentalities, but just like, just there's, like different there's different ways to teach people, people how to read, there's, there's, there's different ways, ways to communicate people. It's different ways, it's different ways to communicate people, people and there's different mentalities. So I do, so see, I do hope. see hope. I see hope, hope and that's all coming together and understanding each other and learning to respect.